Hey everyone. Okay, so here's the tutorial I've been promising, which is the review on the Ray Morris brushes. This review is in two parts. This is the first part where I'm actually going to quickly show you them. And then we're going to fast forward in time because this is filmed when I first got them. And now I'm going to actually use them and then I can give you my full feedback because the original set that I was sent were prototypes of the brushes and they were amazing. But these are the final sets, so I'm going to show you what they look like in the packaging, how beautiful they are, and then I'm actually going to go out and use them for an extended period of time, and hopefully I'll be back to tell you good or bad things about them. So let's make a start. The first one is the small Ray Morris set, and these come in sets at the moment, but I believe that individual brushes will eventually be sold, but I don't know when. This is the 10 piece set, which looks like this. And in this set, you're getting, um, powder brush, the deluxe kabuki brush, which, let me show you this, because these are so amazing, which look like this, with a handle, they are absolutely beautiful. And let me just pop it back in, and then you're getting a whole host of eyeshadow brushes. And this is the 10 piece kit. And the super duper gorgeous, beautiful deluxe set, oh, looks like this. And let's open it up so I get covered up. There we go. And there you go, you can see it. 26 brush set collection, absolutely amazing. Now, I've used every single one of these brushes in prototypes, but I've not used them like this. So I will see you in a sec and tell you what I think of them. Bye bye. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the final Ray Morris brush review for you because it's been a long time coming. Um, you've seen that there's a 10 set and then there's a 26 piece set or 27 depending on the brush. You get a booklet with your guide as well, with your brushes and it's an illustrated guide of all the different kind of brushes and the looks that can be achieved with them. So this is an excellent, excellent book. So let's get on with the brushes. I'm going to show you the foundation brushes first. The first one is the number 23 micro foundation brush which looks like your standard sort of stippling brush. I think the thing that's slightly different about this is it just, the feel of it is slightly different. And this is one of the few brushes that you can kind of micro, um, micro exfoliate, you can kind of stipple and buff with. It doesn't create that micro exfoliation on combination and dry skin types. So this is a, a very, very good brush to kind of look into investing because of that. And it makes the foundation going incredibly smooth. You've got a double ended foundation brush as well, which has got this normal end and a kind of contoured angled end which of course you can use with creams and stuff to contour with. The deluxe buffer brush I guess you could call this number 21 looks kind of like a standard sort of crayon brush but the texture and feel of these is completely different and this is amazing for buffing in foundation absolutely amazing for that also luminizer can be applied to this and buff all over the face the chest and the kind of sort of shoulder area, it looks very, very, very beautiful. And you kind of don't really appreciate how soft these are until you've actually felt them. And of course, the Ray Morris line, these are cruelty-free, PETA approved, recycled, dye-free, hippie-loving brushes, so we love them. I'm gonna show you these sort of powder brushes because these are very sort of interesting. The first two that kind of deserve the most kind of merit, I think, are the Kabuki brushes. There's the Deluxe and the Mini. And these are basically like balls of cotton wool. They apply cream or powder products absolutely perfectly. They also apply anything sort of bronzer, powder. I tend to prefer to use these with highlighters, contouring and blush. But hands down, one of if not the best sort of blusher brushes that you can get in highlighting brushes. The other sort of powder brushes you've got here is very very large powder brush and you don't again i think you can't kind of acknowledge and too touch it how soft these are this is an all over sort of powder brush and great for sort of dusting on larger areas this is one of my favorite ones which is the 22 pro great for applying bronzer to the outer perimeter of the face because it just does this absolutely beautifully i think just because of the size and shape and the deluxe pro blender which is used as a blending brush but i actually like this to apply highlight right to the cheekbone area because I think it does it really really nicely and believe it or not this can be used to blend out eyeshadow too. Let's get on with the eyeshadow brushes and I don't know if you noticed or if I've even told you but these brushes are magnetic 
So they absolutely stick to a magnetic surface, which is really cool. I'm gonna show you the crease brushes because these are slightly different from most crease brushes. They have a very, very fine point tip to them, as you can see. And the reason this is so good, and this is the 7 Deluxe um, shader brush, is because when you touch the skin, it doesn't move the skin. It allows you to put the kind of crease, the line, whatever you're doing, very, very precisely. And that is all you can want from a brush. And it also allows you to kind of turn it on its side and blend it out. And so this is why they're so important. That was the Deluxe. This is the medium, same principle applies with the point. And lastly, we have the detailed precision one, which is the smallest one. Great for really defining work and going underneath the eye. They are my three hands down favorite brushes in terms of eyeshadow brushes ever, ever. We've got your sort of standard, some standard brushes here. You've got a sort of a spoolie brush here. And of course, sort of an angled eyeliner brush. A fan brush, kind of good for sort of dusting off loose fallout and you know shimmer, that kind of thing. Angled eyeliner brush, which has got a crook in it so that we can apply it very, very easily to the inside of waterline as well with gel eyeliners, but makes lining the eyes much easier with this kind of crook. We've got a very, very small chiseled smudger brush here. Great for smudging out at the lash line, smoking out the eye, that sort of thing. Both the concealer and the lip brushes can be used for both the same purposes, depends on the size and the area, but both work absolutely beautifully. And I really like the concealer brush, I'll be honest with you, for the lip. I think it's really, really good. Sort of hold the lip like this, and then just take it from the side and pull it across and you get the most precise line. Two eyeshadow brushes, which are the, uh, the number 10 and the 11. Number 10 is slightly bigger, as you can see, which is this one. I'll be honest with you, I tend to use this one to put colour down and I keep this one absolutely clean because I just like to use this to blend everything out. This is the kind of brush I would use to just blend with. And lastly but not least, actually there's a couple more, even better ones, are the sort of another two eyeliner ones, a kind of deluxe and a smaller one for doing more detailed work. Now, this is where it kind of gets interesting. You've got three other brushes here. We have what's called the Flawless Shader Brush. And this is an amazing brush for going, I actually think, across the hairline, right across here and down sort of the neck with bronzer. Beautiful for this and applies shimmer absolutely gorgeously. You've got the ultimate cheek and the reason being is because it's angled. And again, the softness of it allows you to pretty much carve out this kind of shape here in the cheek. Great for the jawline, double chins, that kind of thing. And a brush you've probably never seen, which is called the Square Kabuki, it's a number four. Now, according to the book, this brush is basically used to just blend out hard lines. And I can absolutely see that. But again, I think this is amazing for applying your blush and for applying your highlight here. Straight up, you get the most beautiful line. And then of course, you can clean it off and blend it out absolutely flawlessly. So this is great. And lastly, but not least is what is called the Radiance Brush, which is number 27, which is the only brush that you buy separately at the moment. They will all be available, I believe, individually, and they're available in sets. This can be used to apply powder or liquid products. If you apply your liquid foundation to here, take it to the skin, and buff it all over the face, your face is gonna look like it's been absolutely airbrushed, I promise. It's the most bizarre thing. I would never have thought to use this kind of brush for that. So for that reason, it's just, once you've done it, you'll kind of understand. But great for applying contouring and highlighting, great for applying your blush, great for applying kind of bronzer from sort of this kind of half moon shape here, which just tends to sort of pull everything together on some sort of looks. So I think it's really beautiful to have this kind of slightly deeper glow around the outside perimeter of the face. Amazing brush. All in all, there is nothing bad to say, because if there was, I would have just said it. Um, all the prices and the information are below here in the description bar. There's no doubt that buying brushes are expensive and you know, buying sets of brushes are expensive, but with the one thing I've said all along is that brushes are the one thing that you should invest in because they will last you the longest and you can do more with um, really good brushes and bad makeup than you can with great makeup and bad brushes. It makes sense to invest in this, the brushes, you know, the best brushes you can in your price range, it really does. And 
you know, for me, brushes have always been something that I was saved up for and I bought and I got and I absolutely loved and I've got all my brushes still there, absolutely beautiful. I love them all and I think it's one thing that you really should invest in. There's also a link here in the bar that will allow you, if you decide to order the um, brush sets, you will get a free colour palette too, which is pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.